Although it's been nearly 65 years since the war in the Pacific ended, it left behind an explosive reminder. As people in the Marianas continue to locate thousands of pounds of ordnance, on Friday, police and Navy coordinated in a detonation exercise. This black box weighs only about three and a half pounds, but it packs a powerful punch because it gives an important cue. It remotely tells two transmitters down below the cliff line when it's time to blow over 2,000 pounds of explosives to smithereens. Burn a hole! Burn a hole! Burn a hole! And this is the verbal cue that means we're ready to hit the right button on the little black box. Here, a member of the explosive ordnance disposal team shows me which button to hit. <laughs> okay, press it. Go ahead, press All right. it. The big puff of black smoke over Murphy isn't a new sight to Saipan. It's part of an ongoing annual project to clean up the Marianas of unexploded ordnance left over from World War II. It's a rainy and windy morning up here at Suicide Cliff, but today's weather wasn't enough to stop authorities from doing what had to be done. The Department of Public Safety once again teamed with the U.S. Navy's Explosive Ordnance Disposal Team, who's been clearing the Marianas of World War II bombs since 1967. Brian Fitzgerald is the chief EOD on site. Today we got rid of a lot of small arms, a lot of grenades, a uh, uh, little bit smaller things that we've kind of been uh, trying to get to, but they take up a lot of our C4 and we try to get the most hazardous stuff first. That's our process and uh, now we're finally making a dent in some of this other stuff. But Fitzgerald says he's personally cleared Micronesia of 50,000 pounds of explosives in three years. Ultimately we're all after the same goal, which is uh, cleaning the island up, getting rid of these hazardous things that, you know, can get in the hands of a kid or even an adult who wants to do something like a fish bomb or, or you know, the things that they did in the past where people got hurt. Louis Daly has a house in the jungle. He says every year he finds ordinance in his yard. I don't know myself. I probably find two or three just in normal, normal travel somewhere. You don't have to dig or anything. And they're right there. And authorities say there's no telling how much is still out there. DPS officer Eric David says in addition to the ordinance exploded today are several boxes of illegal fireworks. ATF considered them um, uh, illegal. Uh, there were more than uh, about maybe four boxes that were collected from them. I guess uh, to their studies, these firecrackers were studied in the mainland and there were more than 1.4 grains on them of explosive in each uh, firecrackers. So today we're detonating them.